Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to convert a named vector to a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the named vector that we can create with the lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also print this vector to the RStudio console by running line 4 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our named vector consists of five vector elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and each of these elements is named with an alphabetical letter. So let's assume that we want to convert this named vector to a data frame in the R programming language. Then we can apply the data frame and the slist functions as you can see in line 6 of the code. So within these functions we simply need to specify the name of our named vector. So in this case we have called our vector vec and then we are storing the output of these functions in a new data frame object which is called data. So if you run line 6 of the code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data. And we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object. And then a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains one row and five columns, whereby each of the columns is named by the name that our named vector had before. So in this video you have learned how to convert a named vector to a data frame in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up on the video or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.